All right, good morning and morning, uh, Tando. Morning, 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 what you? So yeah, so today what we will be doing, uh, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll first and foremost show you how the, the Rook moves. You've already gone through the, um, you know, the coordinates course, but I'm still going to guide you, you don't have to worry. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how the Rook moves. And then afterwards, we're going to try and 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 go for a typical checkmate using two rooks okay. uh, against the king. So um, so what we're going to be learning there uh, are two things. First and foremost, you know how to use the pieces, but also how to use the pieces together. You know the ability to use the pieces together, and okay. uh, uh, using these two pieces together to to checkmate the opponent's king. I'm I'm going to explain what checkmate is. What check and checkmate yes. is right, no okay. problem. So, but first, let's start with the movement of the rook. So now you will understand that there are different pieces on the board. So yes. the pieces that sit on the corners are called the rooks. Um, okay. Sometimes they are called castles as well, but we All use right. the, we generally use the term rook. And um, so the rook has got five points. Now each piece in chess has got a certain number of points. These points they show how strong the piece is, okay? okay? And they help you because, you know, you as you are playing, there, there, will, there will come situations where you, are, you can trade. You can, you can trade your one piece for your opponent's piece. So it helps when you know who's benefiting from the trade, right? Okay. And sometimes you, you, you can, it's called to sacrifice a piece, sacrificing material. You can allow for a trade to happen, which is, uh, actually not beneficial for you uh, mm -hmm. from the points from points uh, point of view, but you find that your position becomes better. So then you sacrifice oh, okay. the material and so on, you know? So, uh, right, let's start with the rook. Now the rook moves on uh, basically straight lines, let's say horizontals and verticals, but in chess we call these files and ranks, okay? So files as you see, yeah, exactly. So files and ranks. Now okay. the files are the ones that uh, uh, you know are shown with the alphabets. For example, this is the rook is at, on the A file. So the whole okay. file here, that is the A file, and then we've right. got the B file, the C file, all the way up to the age file, and all then right. we've got eight ranks as well. So ah. this is the, exactly. So this is the okay. first rank. Okay. This is the second rank, all okay. the way to the eighth rank. So now that's okay. when you, you get to understand better the phrase, the rank and file. Mm. Uh, right? Makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So now how the rook will move, it will move either on the file or on the rank, and you will choose. For an example, let us uh, for a moment say you wanted to capture this pawn. Now the okay. pawn is on two... Uh, lines. It's on the C file and it's also on the sixth rank. Yes. Right. So it's important okay. to understand that that pawn is on those two lines. Yes. And you can choose. Should I move my rook to the C file? That means you would move your rook to C one, and then you will be able okay. to capture the pawn on C six. The next move. Remember that that, that would be two moves. You would play. Right. Your opponent would play, and then you would capture the pawn. Or, Can I ask? Oh, yes, of sorry. course. Of course. So now I see that uh, my 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 castle. I think I like that the word castle better than than okay. rook. <laughs> we'll go for castle. <laughs> um, I see that. Okay, it moved to uh, C, C, and then one. C one, right? Right. And does it just automatically now jump to C six? Or uh -huh. there a rule that applies because you know I wouldn't have expected that it would just jump one two three four I'll say blocks for now uh, uh -huh. but you know exactly a, a, I, I understand a, your question uh, exactly a, so the 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 castle or rook okay. is able mm. to move as long as it is open so for an example there is no piece on any of those squares right okay. it's, yes. it's wide open. So the yes. rook can move and land on any of those squares in one go. Okay. Right? As yes. well as these squares. The rook can move mm -hmm. also on any of those squares and land on any of those squares in one go. Okay. But as you're not allowed... Pieces. 
Exactly. As long as you, okay. you're not jumping over other pieces and okay. you're not allowed to change direction. So what I mean okay. by that is, imagine you moved from A1 to A6. Yes. You would then stop there and your opponent, it will be your opponent's turn to play. Okay. Right? So your opponent could do whatever they want to do. Yes. And then afterwards, you would then capture the pawn on C6. Okay. Right? So you are to try to capture Makes these sense. two pawns. Okay. Got it. Thank you for that. Perfect. Yes. Now try to capture these two pawns, please. Maybe starting with the one on G7. Where will you move your rook to? Um, You'll have to be in two moves. Two moves. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> you yeah. know the thing about chess, it's very intimidating. All no, of it's a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, my brain just froze. Um, Don't be intimidated. So you can move on the, the, the vertical line. It is yes. open or the horizontal. You you should you should imagine that the, the, the castle wants to shoot the pawn. So you need to aim. You see what I mean? You need to be okay. on the same line so that you take aim of the pawn and then you can shoot the pawn or capture it. And you said this is only in two moves, right? Yeah. So you'll have to move to one square and then the next uh, uh, time you then move and capture okay. the pawn. Let me just look at this properly so that I... I make so I would then uh, move my my rook my castle to um, can I say six is it six G exactly it's G six right G yeah, six perfect so and, rook G six is perfect and then go up to um, seven go up to G seven G seven yes. Perfect. That is the way to do it. Now you are to capture. <laughs> oh, there's no reason to be intimidated. You are you, you are good at this. So now you are trying to capture to capture okay. the pawn on F2. How are you going to do okay. that? I'll just go. So you said so when you said you mentioned something earlier, you said that uh, without changing direction. So does well, this mean mm -hmm. you can only go up? Can I not go back down again? Exactly. So, what I what I meant is that you cannot go down and then left right you can only go in one okay. that means okay. right you can either go down you can go left okay. you can go right or you can go up okay. you can't okay. change right 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 all right so i'll just automatically just go back down to um two as in g2 brilliant and then g2 is perfect i'll go down to g2 and then go over, go into the pawns block in f Perfect. Oh, Rook takes F2. There you go. Yes. Brilliant. Brilliant. So okay. now I'm going to give you another one where you are going okay. to have to, to kind of navigate. That means you will have to do the same yes. thing. However, you there will be some uh, okay. uh, obstacles in your way. So do you see the new position? All right. Okay. I can now, see the new position in my castle. Yes. Right. You are trying to capture the pawn on A7. How will you do that? All right. So let's see. On A7, I guess I'll the, the most logical thing to do, because in my mind right now, I don't know what to do with um, the one on um, A2. A2. So I'll move, right. yeah. I'll, move to the, I'll move to the side, go to Brilliant. B1. And Very then, good. But then I only can do how many moves? Two moves, right? Well, no, no, no. You can do it in three moves. Rook B1 is perfect. I will move. Am I doing my... only two moves? Three, three. So you, you have two more. Three moves. Okay. So the... then shoot up to B7. Brilliant. Rook B7. And then... uh, I will notice that my king can only move one square in okay. any direction. However, here's an important part. Now you are learning how the king moves as well. Yes. I am not allowed to move to a square that is attacked by the opponent. Okay? You're not allowed to move to a square that is attacked by the opponent. So in this case... I cannot my... go there. Okay. I can't move there. I cannot move there. All right. And I cannot move there. It's not possible. Okay. So, so the program, if you see, if I, if I hold my king, it tells me I'm only allowed to move either to E8 or to G8. All right. You see, so I'll move, let's say, to E8. And now yes. what will you play? Then I'll then um, take this pawn in A7. 
Brilliant. Rook takes a7. Very good. So you have complete understanding of the rules. And it was good that you understood that you could not jump over the, the obstacle, your pawn. Yeah. You had to move sideways, up, and 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 capture. Very good. So you've got, you, you know, you are, you are able to recognize the whole board and so on. So now what we're going to do, we'll do now to, the, to today's challenge. Okay? Okay. Now today's <laughs> challenge, don't be intimidated. It's All going right. to actually be quite easy. All right. And what, it, what it's going to be. We are now going to, to look at how to checkmate with two rooks. Now, how this would happen is the board mm. shared. Are you able to see the board? Yes. Brilliant. Now, how this would happen, imagine you started with all the pieces, but now you've captured all your opponent's pieces, and, okay. and now you are ahead. You have two rooks ahead, and your opponent only has the king remaining. Yes. All right? So now you've got altogether 10 points because each rook is worth five points. You are, right. you are now you are expecting to win the, the, this game. But now okay. you need to checkmate the king. Now checkmate, there are two words in that. There's uh -huh. check and then mm -hmm. the other word is, is mating the king, checkmate, right? Okay. What it means is simple, is that check means that the king is under attack. So whenever the king okay. is in danger, that's when a chess, a chess player will say check. You know, if you hear two people playing, you'll hear someone saying, check, 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 yes. checkmate, okay. right? Now, check means be careful. Your king is in danger. Okay. Right? Yes. I'm not allowed to capture your king. However, I want to create a situation where your king will be attacked, but okay. you are not able to do anything about it. And then you lose the game. That is called checkmate. Oh, okay. Right. We, often, we often hear this word. I often hear this word in movies, right? But right. I, I've never known the real meaning behind it. So personally, today I can't wait to say checkmate. Like how movie, <laughs> like how movie so, stars would actually say it. <laughs> exactly. So checkmate basically would mean, you know, a, a plan has been carried out and the, the, the opponent cannot do anything about it. So you you hear it in movies. If some, you know something happens and someone says checkmate, yes, exactly. you know, checkmate. yeah, it's over. You know, <laughs> and you know, and they say that it's over. Exactly. It's, exactly, it's over. <laughs> so now, what you're going to do though? You're going to have to be careful because the, mm. the king, okay? So I'm going to show you how to do it first. Then the black king would want to capture one of the rooks, but the king only can move at one square at a time. So you have all the time in the world, right? Yes. So the method that we use, we use a very logical method. Mm. You want to first, you see the king can move to eight different squares. For an example, when the king is, it can move there, okay. there, there. Yes there there okay it cannot move there because this king is there okay right? this king okay. also controls these three squares but normally it would be able to move there there and there so it would okay. be eight squares that the king can move to right okay. that's a lot of squares and we cannot checkmate the king when it can move to so many squares so yes. we want to limit its movement we want to force this king to the edge of the board okay right I see. so when the king is at the edge of the board it cannot move backwards anymore then we can we're able to checkmate the king so how we do that number sorry, one to, yeah sure sorry, sorry to interrupt you so the the way you've actually laid out these errors now what i want what i'd like to understand what you're telling me is that because the black king can only move it seems like they can it can only move to the squares above it so to speak not below I well, it, the, 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 you are, but the reason for that is because this king is there. Remember, this king okay. controls these three squares. Okay. As you can see, when I when I hold the the the, the you know the, the program, it tells me I can only go here or there. Okay. Okay. Right. I cannot go up because the other king is there. Yes. Okay. Makes right. sense. So what we're going to do? We're going to cut the 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 the, the you know the the space of the king in front. Mm -hmm. So that we create some kind of a barrier and then okay. we're going to push the king. So both rooks are going to work together. So right. the first rook will go there to cut the squares, right? Meaning okay. the king is not able to come closer. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Then it's the opponent's turn. Let's imagine the opponent moves to the side. Now this right. rook is not doing anything. This one is doing something, but this yes. one is not doing anything. That is why we're going to attack the king with the rook. So we would play rook a3 and that would All be right. check. That's check. The king is attacked. Right. Okay. So the king cleverly moves to g4 because the, right. the king anticipates that we would want to, to, to give check with the rook here, but that would be a mistake. It's an error okay. because the king can capture the rook. Oh, okay. Because the king does have power over the rook, right? 
Well, the king can capture any piece except okay. the other king, right? Okay. Right. Same. So now it means we, we should not move over here with the rook. We should move as far away as possible with the rook, but okay. to a square where we can, we're able to use this line. So we don't put the rook here because then, yes. you know, we can't use both of them at the same time. So here, right? Yeah. Okay. So the king moves closer. Now we, we don't use this rook because this rook has actually created a barrier. Okay. on the third rank, right? We use the other one. We move up right. with the other way. Say so check. The king must notice that the king cannot move down now. Why? Okay. Because this rook is controlling the squares. Oh, wow, okay. Right? And the wow. king cannot move sideways. The, ki the king cannot move sideways because this uh -huh. rook is controlling the squares. Yes. So the only squares left for the king are, are these three. Wow. Okay. You see? Right. So let's say the king moves over to e5. Now you use the other rook. You say check. The king must move up. Check. Okay. This is also called the bicycle method. It's as if okay. you're paddling, right? If you, if, okay. right? You look, you, it's called the bicycle method because if you look at okay. the two rooms, it's as if you're paddling, right? Moving the okay. king back. Right. Now, once the king moves to c7, we need to be careful again. The king is too close. Right. And the king wants to capture this rook. Right? So we move as far away as possible, still cutting the okay. sixth rank though. So we move all the way there. The king moves to b7, then we move our other, sorry, we move our other rook also to the side. Okay? We must move okay. as far away as, from the king as possible. Now the king moves there. Okay. Now we give check. Now the king cannot come out. It must go back. And that is checkmate. Game is over. Okay. Right? <laughs> this, <laughs> even okay. I, as I'm sitting here, I feel like wow, my I, I can feel my adrenaline pumping because <laughs> it's chasing it's the king. Right? Okay. Yes. <laughs> now, what are we going to try? You are going to try and move wow. <laughs> the white pieces, but I will guide you. So the, <laughs> okay. I will guide you. Don't worry, I'll guide you. The first thing you need to, to cut the king off, yes. create a barrier so you can choose which rook you want to use. Okay. So I'll start with um the rook on the my right end, 1H. Okay, move it one up, right? Yes, I'll move it one up. My heart is already beating fast. And then... No, no. <laughs> now, now it's my turn, okay? Okay. <laughs> I will move here. Right, so... um, Then, which means I will... But if I move... Okay, I'm just trying to... If I move to A4, let me just see what access the... Black King has this Black King has got one, two, three. So if I move to A4, if I move to A4, I'll still be safe, right? I won't be captured by the king because no, no, you won't. If you move to A4, you won't be captured. But remember, you're trying to force the king back. Okay. Right. So you've cut you've cut this uh rank already. You need to right. go now to access this one. Okay. So you're taking you take control of the second rank, you take control okay. of the third rank, you take control of the fourth rank as you're pushing the king backwards. All okay. the all, all, right. Right. So then I'll we'll go to, I'll take it to A3. Brilliant. That's okay. that's a brilliant move. Rook A3, check. Now I'm going to, I cannot go back. So I'm going to have to go to C4. Yeah, I'm right. still, you're still far. Like I still cannot capture you. I'm still yes. far away from your rook. Okay. I'll go to my uh, rook on uh, 2H. Right. And take it to, <laughs> I'll take it to, 5H. Is it, okay. No, is 5H? No, I'll take it to 4H. Brilliant. Rook H4 is brilliant. Now you've taken control of the fourth rank. Notice that the king is now on the fifth rank. It started on the third. You've, yes. you've controlled all the ranks. Now it's on the fifth rank. Now you have to be careful because you want to use your rook on A3, but if you yes. move over here, you're too close. I will capture your you rook. You can see that, yes, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, so I'm trying to think, what do I do here? You need to move your uh, rook as far away from the king as possible to give yourself enough time to attack the king. Yes. Right. So uh, best, mm -hmm, best you move your A rook, your, your, your A rook, but where do you move it to? That's what I'm thinking. Where do I move it to? Oh, sorry. No problem. Let me just, uh, sorry. Where do I move my A rook to? Maybe, I, maybe, maybe, let's suggest g3 maybe g3 so that is far okay. away from, okay. okay yeah i can see that so because i was i could i could see that um a6 or 6a is not 
is too he, close to the king. <laughs> exactly. If, if, so, yes. Exactly. If you go there, yeah. the king would capture your rook. Exactly. Yeah. So right. I'll take. I'll follow your suggestion and take it to g3, right? G3. Yes. Brilliant. Okay. So now I'm going to go here. Now you are on your way. Right. So I'll then take uh, my rook on um, 4h and put it on 5h. But be careful of your barriers, right? So which rook is, is, is controlling the barrier? Which one is, 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 is making sure that the king cannot come closer? Is it, is it this one or is it that one? That's the important key. Okay, I, I may have missed that. So, hmm, okay. I'm not sure what that, what that is, but <laughs> I can no, no, guess. There it is. Look, that rook is controlling those squares, making right. sure the king cannot come closer. Right. Okay. So you'd have to use the other rook. That's what I mean. Oh, okay. So that means I'll then take the rook on G3 and have it over to, what's this? Um, G, G, sorry. Yes. G5. Yes. Brilliant. G5. Rook okay. G5 check is brilliant. Okay. I'm going to play King C6. All right. Then I'll take, so let's just see. Can I take the same rook again on g5 and then? Well, you'd have to think now who, you see that the roles always change. Oh. Right? So okay. after the I check. Right. Okay. So then I'll take the rook on uh, 4h. Exactly. Put it on 6h. Exactly. You see, that is why this is called the bicycle method. You know, okay. you're pedaling left, right, left, right, right, it like changes. that. Makes so sense. exactly. So I move there. And then I'll take uh, G, the, my rook on G5 and then put it on G7. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Check. And now I'm going to play King D8. You're almost there. And then I'll take my rook on um, 6H and yes. put it on 8, 8, 8H. Checkmate. I'll tell you something. I will tell you something, right? Yes. I will tell you something. I okay. actually have not seen someone get that and checkmate so quickly. <laughs> you have you have you have incredible potential. So now you, 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 know, you do. You have incredible potential. And um, yeah, so that is how you checkmate the king. But wow. I must admit, you 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 actually um, you know special, you are able to see the space because it's not that easy. It, it, yes. it takes a while and some people actually have to develop that you know some people when they are chasing the king right they mm -hmm. they, all, they 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 sort of lose direction they're not sure where they're chasing the king you know yes. all of a sudden the, you know the the king will go out and so on but you you were able to control the space and Thank you. um yeah yeah i think i sh you know look if, if 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 you took more lessons very soon you'd be south African champion so i think we should stop <laughs> I, I, I like this. I like this. It's actually <laughs> very fulfilling. It's a fulfilling game because it actually really does mentally challenge you because what you want to do is you don't want to lose sight of your strategy. So that's the part that I'm enjoying more than anything, you know, but I, I'm still nervous. I don't know why chess, like I've always said, it's that sports or that you know, um, leisurely thing that you just feel it's for specialized people. But I see, mm. I, I have potential to be specialized as well. Um, no, you already are. You already are. So, so <laughs> as, but as you see, you know, uh, that is what it is exactly. But you can imagine, of course, when you're playing someone, they will be putting yeah. obstacles in your way. They'll yeah. be, you know, from the word go, they'll be trying. Yeah. But it's, it's actually, it's very entertaining. And, and uh, you really are doing a lot of, of, of strategy, you know, and, and yes. um, visualization. Okay, now remember that now this would be what we'd call the end game. Okay. Here you already have, have uh, beaten your opponent, so to speak. You know, you have taken their whole army and so on. But before that, there's a whole fight that goes on. Yes. But the most important part is to be able to checkmate the opponent. So, yeah, big up to you. Thank and you. You are able to checkmate. Bravo. So, yeah, brilliant. That's all I can Thank say. You. Thank you so much, Watu. I really did it. I really do enjoy this. Uh, it is highly... I didn't think that chess could be this entertaining, but it's actually quite entertaining. The suspense. I think for me, it's the suspense that I'm enjoying because I'm like... Wow, what do I do next? What's going on? <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> no, thank you very much for being uh, 
the, uh, you know, a brilliant student today. And uh, yeah, that was, that went very well. It was absolutely, it was absolutely enjoyable. I enjoyed it. I do look forward to maybe another one at absolutely. some point uh, when you invite me, but it was absolutely great. Brilliant. Thank you very much. I'm happy that you, you could participate and I hope that everyone else enjoyed it as well. Thank you so much, Watu. I appreciate it. You also made it easy for me to join. Thank you so much for everything. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Notan. Have a fantastic day, Feather. Hands down. Thank you so much. Have a good day too. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.